हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एनालिस्ट आई ए एस दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ आर प्रीवियस वीडियो इन विच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द हिस्ट्री आर्ट एंड कल्चर क्वेश्चन आस्क इन यू पी एस सी सी एस सी प्रिलियम्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन सो क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन इज विद रेफरेंस टू द कल्चरल हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द करेक्ट डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द टर्म पैरामिताज ऑप्शन ए द अर्लीस्ट धर्म शास्त्र टेक्स्ट रिटर्न इन एफॉरेस्टिक और सूत्र स्टाइल ऑप्शन बी फिलोसॉफिकल स्कूल्स दैट डिड नॉट एक्सेप्ट द अथॉरिटी ऑफ वेदास ऑप्शन सी परफेक्शंस हुज अटेनमेंट लेड टू द बोधि सत्वापात ऑप्शन डी पावरफुल मर्चेंट ग्लेट्स ऑफ अर्ली मिडिवल साउथ इंडिया सो आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन सी The correct description of the term paramitas is perfections, whose attainment led to the bodhi sattva path. As bodhi sattva are part of the Mahayana Vajrayan tradition, they are mentioned in the Mahayana literature called as the Vepulya Sutra, written in Sanskrit. And inside the Vepulya Sutra, prajan paramita are mentioned. Now let's move to the next question. So question number twelve is, in the context of Indian history, the Rakhma Bai case of eighteen eighty four revolved around statement number one, women's right to gain education; statement number two, age of consent; statement number three, restitution of conjugal rights. Select the correct answer using the code given below. Option A. One and two only. Option B, two and three only. Option C, one and three only. Or option D, one, two and three. So answer of this question is option B. Statement number two and three are correct. As Rakhma Bai was the first practicing female doctor in colonial India, she was involved. in the legal case that contributed to the enactment of the age of consent act 1891 now let's move to the next question so question number 13 is indigo cultivation in india declined by the beginning of the 20th century because of option a peasant resistance to the oppressive conduct of planters option b its unprofitability in the world market because of new inventions option c national leaders opposition to the cultivation of indigo option d government control over the planters so answer of this question is option b indigo cultivation in india declined by the beginning of the 20th century because of its unprofitability in the world market because of new inventions as indigo is a blue dye which comes from the indigo plant during the rule of the east india company and later during british raj it was widely grown in india it was often called blue gold and widely traded in european markets and There was a significant increase in the indigo production in the 18th and 19th centuries in Bengal and Bihar due to increasing demand and production. However, in the beginning of the 20th century with the invention of synthetic indigo which was cheaper and took less time during production than agricultural indigo, the demand for indigo cultivation in India declined significantly. Synthetic indigo made natural indigo non profitable for farmers as well as traders now let's move to the next question so question number 14 is wellesley established the fort william college calcutta because option a he was asked by the board of directors at london to do so option b he wanted to revive interest in oriental learning in india option c He wanted to provide William Carey and his associates with employment. Option D. 
he wanted to train british civilians for administrative purpose in india so answer of this question is option d wellesley established the fort william college calcutta because he wanted to train british civilians for administrative purpose in india as to train british officials fort william college was established by lord richard wellesley governor general of bengal in 1800 the college aimed to create civil servants who would be familiar with indian languages history culture and local laws and alongside they would also receive training in western languages and the art of administration now let's move to the next question so question number 15 is with reference to the history of india ulgulan or the great tumult is the description of which of the following events option a the revolt of 1857 option b the mapilla rebellion of 1921 option c the indigo revolt of 1859 1860 or option d birsa munda's revolt of 1899 1900 so answer of this question is option d ulgulan or the great tumult is the description of birsa munda's revolt of 1899 1900 as birsa munda was born in the munda tribe which inhabited the chota nagpur area bengal presidency that is present day jharkhand he is often referred to as dharti abba or the earth father birsa munda led the rebellion that came to be known as ulgulan or the munda rebellion against the british government imposed feudal state system and he awakened the masses and sowed the seeds of revolt in them against the landlords as well as the britishers and his struggle against the exploitation and discrimination against tribals led to the passing of the chota nagpur tenancy act in 1908 which restricted the passing of land from the tribal people to non tribals now let's move to the next question So question number 16 is with reference to the scholars literatures of ancient india consider the following statements statement number 1 panini is associated with pushyamitra statement number 2 amar sinha is associated with harshvardhan statement number 3 kalidasa is associated with chandragupta second which of the statements given above is or are correct option a 1 and 2 only option b 2 and 3 only option c 3 only option d 1 2 and 3 so answer of this question is option c as takshashila became famous as a place of learning due to its teachers expertise among its noted pupils were the legendary indian grammarian panini he was an expert in language and grammar and authored one of the greatest works on grammar called astadhyayi the shunga empire was an ancient indian dynasty from magadha that controlled areas of the central and eastern indian subcontinent from around 185 to 75 BCE that is before common era the dynasty was established by Pushyamitra Shunga after the fall of the Mauryan empire hence statement number 1 is not correct and Amar Sinha a Sanskrit grammarian and poet is said to have been one of the nine gems that adorn the court of Vikramaditya that is Chandragupta II whose reign was around 375 CE that is common era harshvardhana ruled north india from 606 to 647 CE hence statement number 2 is also not correct 
Kalidasa, the classical Sanskrit author, playwright, and dramatist, flourished during the reign of Chandragupta II. Now let's move to the next question. So question number seventeen is with reference to the cultural history of India. Consider the following pairs. Number one, Parivrajak, renunciant and wanderer. Number two, Shraman, priest with a high status. Number three. Upasak, lay follower of Buddhism. Which of the pairs given above are correctly matched? Option A, one and two only. Option B, one and three only. Option C, two and three only. Or option D, one, two and three. So answer of this question is option B. Pair number one and three are correctly matched. As Traveling mendicants were usually called parivrajak. They were seekers of truth who did not live permanently at any one place, wandering from place to place. Hence, pair number one is correctly matched. Shraman. Shraman in Sanskrit means the one who strives to realize the truth. Shramans practiced an ascetic or strict and self-denying. Lifestyle in pursuit of spiritual liberation. They were commonly known as monks. Hence, pair two is not correctly matched. Upasaka is the Sanskrit and Pali word for attendant. This is the title of followers of Buddhism or historically of Gautam Buddha, who are not monks, nuns, or novice monastics in a Buddhist order, and who undertake certain vows. Hence. Pair three is correctly matched. Now let's move to the next question. So question number eighteen is with reference to the period of Gupta dynasty in ancient India, the towns Ghantashala, Kadura, and Chol were known as option A, ports handling foreign trade; option B, capitals of powerful kingdoms; option C, places of exquisite stone art and architecture; or option D. Important of Buddhist pilgrimage centers. So, answer of this question is option A. With reference to the period of Gupta dynasty in ancient India, the towns Ghanta Shala, Kadura, and Chol were known as ports handling foreign trade. As during the ancient period, India had trade and cultural contacts with Egypt, Rome. Greeks, Arabs, China, and almost all Southeast Asian countries. Both the coast of India have been studded with a string of ports. The ports on the west coast were Berigaya, Sopara, Salina, Semaila, Mandgaur, Pelepatme, Melinjgara, Oranobas, Nora, Tandis, Muziris, and Nilsainda. The posts on the east coast were Tamralipti, Charitrapur, Paluru, Dantapur, Kalingapatnam, Pithunda, Sopatma, Ghanta Shala, Kadura, Poduka, Puhar, Korkai, and Kamara. In short, explorations have been carried out at Malwa, Sopara, Elephanta Island, Chol, Udevara, Honavara, Gopakapatna. On the west coast and Manikpatna, Kalingapatna, surrounding region of Pumpuhar and Trankabar on the east coast of India. Now let's move to the next question. So question number nineteen is with reference to the history of India, consider the following pairs: famous place and present state. Number one, Bhilsa Madhya Pradesh. Number two, Dwar Samudra Maharashtra. Number three. Giri Nagar Gujarat and number 4 Sthaneshwar Uttar Pradesh which of the pairs given above are correctly matched option a 1 and 3 only option b 1 and 4 only option c 2 and 3 only or option d 2 and 4 only so answer of this question is option a 1 and 3 only as vidisha that is formally known as bhelsa 
and known as base nagar in ancient times is a city in the state of madhya pradesh it is located around 60 km northeast of the state capital bhopal hence pair 1 is correctly matched hele bidu previously known as dora samudra or dwar samudra the ancient hoysala capital houses the ornate hoysaleshwar and kedareshwar temples and is one of the well visited tourist attractions of karnatak state hence pair 2 is not correctly matched girnar also known as girinagar city on the hill or revatak parvat is a group of mountains in the junagar district of gujarat this place is sacred to the jains because it is the place where lord neminatha went to attain salvation hence pair 3 is correctly matched thaneshwar or sthaneshwara a historical town located adjacent to what is now newly created kurukshetra city in haryana hence pair 4 is not correctly matched so that's all for today we'll meet you soon with next video stay connected thank you